and gentlemen, and welcome to, welcome, I'm a vampire, <laughs> welcome to a very special day, special morning right now, a special night wherever you are, the Infinity War trailer has dropped the official one, not the Comic Con bootleg one that a few people saw, the official one has been released, it looks like it's a glorious 2 minutes and 24 seconds, I'm so excited, I'm a huge fan, I'm like all of you, I've been waiting for this since Avengers, since we, since we saw Nick Fury talk to Iron Man, something of this grand scale. Yes, we got Avengers, and yes, we got Age of Ultron, but this is just taking it to the next level. Man, I have lots to say. I'm very excited. This trailer has to blow me away, but you know what? It's gonna. We've all been waiting for this for so long. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just, let's do this. Let's go. I'm, I'm ready. There was an idea. See? Look at that. Time vote. Oh, oh. To bring together a group of remarkable people. I'm gonna cry so much during this movie, guys. If we could become something more. Oh. -ho! So when they needed us, did you know the human? We could fight the battles that they never could. This is a great callback to Avengers One, just line for line, what Nick Fury's plan was. Oh. That Sylvester score. Goosebumps. Oh, Sanctum Centaurum. What it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right. And nice. to fail all the same. Wow. Run from it. The destiny still arrives. Loki's gonna so die. <laughs> he looks great. That Spider Man suit looks so good. Oh. Cap. Hulkbuster, nice. Wow. Oh. oh wow there's war machine there we go That was smart. That was great. That was, that was fantastic. Um, boy, where to begin? Like a lot of this stuff we've seen photos of, so kind of saw some of the stuff coming. But man, that was fantastic. That was. I I guess I want to start. With, I can't believe they showed that vision shot. Like I think we all knew it was gonna happen, but for them to show that, for them to show that, for them to show that beginning of Tony and Bruce and Black Widow. All looking pretty downtrodden I think shows that this is gonna be I obviously there's still gonna be <laughs> obviously there's still gonna be level levity in this but I think it's gonna be like Civil War but more on the down low I think they'll of course be comedy but I think Civil War was the perfect blend of being dramatic emotional and then having comedy and not l like leaning one way towards the other maybe a bit more towards the emotional side but that story needs it i think that's what this is going to do i think it's going to lean a bit more towards you know a downtrodden emotional side and i think this is going to be even though it's only a two-parter this is going to kind of be the empire strikes back as far as my probably gonna end in a cliffhanger probably gonna end on some depths um i'm trying to think we didn't see Hawkeye in this trailer. I know there's probably a lot of people you didn't see, but Hawkeye kind of took me... Actually, I'd have to watch it again, but we, I don't think he got a visual standout moment. It looks like this starts in New York. This whole, you know, whatever um, Thanos has up there. I don't know that. If it's from the comic books, then shoot me, because I don't remember the name of that thing. But it looks like it starts in New York. Hopefully that's not the main thing, because we don't need another beam in the sky, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. So obviously it starts in New York, that's how Danny meets Doctor Strange, because they're probably both 
investigating this, like what's going on. Probably leads them to space. Obviously, Spider-Man's already in New York. So you got a lot of people in that vicinity that are going to meet up because, hey, there's this huge fucking thing and it's something we've never seen before. Um, but with the Vision thing, I was surprised they'd show that in a trailer. That to me... I don't know if it's like a double psycho because to me that would almost be like War Machine and Civil War when they showed him fall. It's like, oh, well, he's not going to die now and maybe it's the same way where he's not going to die or maybe he just somehow just becomes like a human form. I don't know if that's possible or maybe it's just that they kind of went, hey, we got to show somebody not, and like I said, maybe he doesn't die from that, but the potential of biting the dust because maybe they do try to take the stone from and that's when cap makes a save or whatnot right so i think that's more likely where they're trying to take the stone he may get it later because they're setting up like you see vision as paul bettany like the actor you see him in human form so they're really setting up him and scarlet witch now as like a romantic couple which i like if you've read the comics you know long history there they create a fucking baby together like i want to see that i don't know if they're gonna i don't know if they're gonna get that far in the movies but them just putting their powers together to create a baby let's do it we've gotten so weird we got fucking guardians and howard the duck Let's just start making babies. So that was great. Um, the Cap stuff is the stuff that interests me the most. Cap's my favorite as far as the MCU, so I'm a little biased. But I think I do think he's going to die. I think he's going to have the biggest journey. I think I don't know if he'll die in part three or part four, but he just radiates that hey sacrifice for the greater good character, you know. And I, you don't get that vibe from this trailer. I don't think you get the vibe from this trailer that anyone in particular other than Vision is going to die, you kind of get the vibe that everyone's going to die. So it does feel like the stakes have raised. They show they showcase Thanos quite a bit in that period where he's kind of missing. And then he, you literally, oh, something I just feel like, it's so cathartic and so good to see. Literally seeing putting him, just something as simple as stones on the glove because that shows how far we've come and how much of a buildup there is. And yeah, some people have always been like, wow, you shouldn't have introduced Thanos in the first Avengers. But now it's going to pay off, especially if this movie is great, which I have no reason to doubt it's going to be. Marvel's been killing it since 2008. The Russo brothers are one of the best comic book directors around. Like, look at what they did with Civil War. I know Winter Soldier's lots of people's favorite, and I get that, but Civil War was a hard task, and that movie could have been could have been quite messy. This is another movie that could be quite messy, but it looks like it's going to have a great narrative. And the thing is, too, it has, I think they said, what, 67 characters or something like that? And I imagine there could be one big scene where they're all together. But the thing is, it looks like it's going to be very... I've been describing this since the beginning. Very like Lord of the Ring-ish. Where you have... They even make it look like you have the team in New York. And then you have Cap's team. And then you have Thor and the Guardians. Like It feels very Two Towers. Empire Strikes Back again. Where they're going to be split off. The Guardians... I think that was a good tag. Because seeing everybody else... Okay, seeing a Doctor Strange... I don't think we saw Ant-Man. I question if he's in this one. He might be in part four. But I don't know if he's in this one. But we saw a few of the new characters, Black Panther, Spider-Man, obviously they've had some touchback, but it's kind of like, okay, they're back, they're still part of the team. I think Guardians is the end tank is good, because Guardians is, to me, that last selling point where Guardians is huge right now. You know, I think it's battling with Wonder Woman and Spider-Man for, I don't know if it's the top, I think top worldwide. Either way, it's in that top one or top two, top three. It's doing very well. It's, a, I think, a big touchstone in pop culture right now, whether it's Groot or volume one volume two the actual set so if you are this is going to be playing with star wars last jedi if you are watching that and you see all this stuff like yeah i know all these people that's great I'm gonna, like even if like let's take it to somebody that may not you know is going back and forth they could see this great trailer and still be like oh you know like okay but it's just another avengers movie the second thor turns around and even though he just says who the hell are you guys and they just smile i think they're going to be the majority of the levity even though i think you have characters like drax nebula and uh, gamora that have a huge tie to thanos and i think there is gonna be some emotional stuff there i could see them really bringing in the levity and they didn't show which one thing they did show in the comic-con trailer was some of the avengers and some of the guardians together i wonder for the mainstream marketing if they're gonna save a lot of that i know we got a long ways away it's still me so i i, I guess my question is do we ever see a trailer with Iron Man and Star-Lord talking? I would say so. I think they'll keep it very minimal, though, from this. Or maybe the next trailer actually opens with Guardians. They kind of play it off like, okay, now you 100% know if your mother didn't know Guardians is in this. And then the next trailer, we kind of start with them and we see other stuff. I think you will see that because they don't want to miss that opportunity. But 
it's good that they didn't kind of blow their load the first trailer. The shots are great. The, uh, the shots of like Thanos' children fighting Cap, like you can see them throwing the spear. That whole, whatever is going on with you got War Machine and Falcon Cat lead the team against this huge army of obviously just like Thanos aliens. That looks phenomenal. Like this looks like on such a grand scale. That's what I mean. Like I think that was the thing with Avengers too. It did feel like Avengers, but just a different Avengers. So I don't think it had that big of an impact. Where I still think people, I think people like it more than people give it credit. But still, it didn't feel like it raised the stakes for me. Civil War did because it's different when you have two characters that we love going at it. This is raising the stakes of this is not no longer just like a one planet situation this is a global situation and this is a universe situation they do a great job i i didn't stress earlier i think thanos lines are good because i had heard them when they talked about the trailer and i was like Ugh, i don't know it sounds like something thanos would say but until you hear those lines read by josh brolin who sounds like he's doing great it's like okay this works this is definitely the mad titan like this you get the feel and you get a imposing feel i do want to see you saw him what like Bat Spider Man and Bat Iron Man. I do think there should be one trailer maybe showcasing him a little bit more because you are gonna have a few people that still don't know who Thanos is. He's not technically this is not a sequel. Like Avengers four, it'll make sense, but this like he's not a sequel villain. Yeah, he's been Guardians and Avengers, but he's not been that no one's had a big huge conflict with him that is in this movie. I'm not counting Ronan. So I do think they should do one more trailer to maybe show a bit more of him and I, th I think he was used, I think this was a good for the first trailer. I want to see as more go along if he's in this like that. Uh, if he is in the mount that he was here, yes, the the heroes getting together is a big part. Marvel always doubles down on the heroes. But I do think they really got to stress the imposing threat. But then again, even then, I guess, like, you got the armies, you got that ring in the sky. Like, I guess they kind of already done that without Thanos. So, and who knows how Thanos is actually in the, how much he's in this movie. Yeah, he could be the driving plot point, but he could be like... It wouldn't be this example, but like Skyfall, like Javier Bardem's character, he feels like he's always in the movie because him and his presence is always around, but I think he has 20 minutes of screen time, 25. I don't think he'll be that low because it's going to be a two and a half hour movie, but I could see it being in the half an hour, 45 hour range, but who knows, could surprise me. Sony and Marvel did a big surprising thing with Spider-Man Homecoming and started the movie with Vulture's backstory. That could easily happen here, so great trailer i'm i i can't uh, i just you know i can't say i'm excited for waiting because i am excited but it's just like man i just want this to be here but you know i'm so happy they released the trailer this is a great trailer this is a perfect trailer i think from all i think it has fanboy stuff i think it has mainstream stuff and i think it has non-mainstream stuff i think it has something for everybody it's like a four quadrant trailer this trailer was great i'm so excited to see more I'm excited not to see it. I'm excited not to see more at the same time, but the trailers I always watch. I don't watch the TV spots and clips, but trailers, this was a great trailer. I think they set the stage perfectly, and this is just the first trailer. This is, they say official trailer, but this still feels teasery because, yeah, it's two minutes and 24 seconds, but you have a lot to show off between the new villain and then all new characters coming together. So this feels very teasery, but it did set the stage one in some teaser. That was probably my problem with the Last Jedi teaser, the OG one, was that it was just like a cool shot. I had no idea the story. This portrays the story. This portrays who's gonna be in it. And this shows what the stakes are. And it shows some fun new stuff as Doctor Strange and the Guardians and stuff that's gonna give you that Avengers-like feel. This movie, uh, it sounds terrible, but kinda has to be perfect. And so far, it looks like it's gonna be like that. So far, for the movie that I picture in my head and I want, this trailer gave me that and then some. That shot of Cap and the whole team running against these people, fantastic. Even that shot of just seeing Vision as a human, it's like, this looks like it's going to have some layers and depth that I didn't even think. I thought it could have just been a big beat-em-up movie. But no, and then eventually, I don't know whether it ends with Cap dying or if it ends with Tony and Cap reuniting. There's so much that I think we're even going to get saved for this movie and get in the next one. Like I said, the best way I describe is probably like, Two Towers, Return the King. Not Empire and um, Return the Jedi. I feel this is going to be your big split. Then Return the King is going to be all these characters coming together to defeat the evil Thanos. Well, thank you very much for tuning in because that was oof, that was exciting. It's very early here, but it was a great wake-up call. It was great to wake up the phone with that notification. Like, oh my god, like we're close. That's what this first trailer means. What are we in? Let's, let's, just, let's just jump and say we're in December. 
January, February, March, April, May. And it's May 4th. It's the beginning of May. So it's not even like a really full month. So it's like we really got like four and a half months away. It's a weird math equation I've done in my head. But really, four and a half months. That's crazy. That's crazy. And I think I said it while I was talking, but them opening with Nick Fury's line in Avengers of him telling the team, like, I had an idea, and them all saying that line was great. And it really brought home as far as the like OG members saying it because it did put perspective on the whole deal. And this really does feel... I don't think it's going to be a finale where they're going to go and reboot a bunch of stuff and the universe is going to change, but this is going to feel that the... like. The quest that we ended on with Pepper and Tony building Avengers Tower, this is the end of the story. And this is the climax. And this is something that's going to tie everything all together and give a ending to this story. I think Avengers Infinity War is still that as well. And that's kind of a kickoff of a new story. Kind of like a new Avengers, something like that. So, oh, I'm so excited for this movie. If you are so excited for this movie... Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Did you like it? Did you find it disappointing? Did you find it just all right? Do you think this is one of their better trailers? Who do you think is going to die? That's a big question. Do you think anyone dies in Avengers in, in, in Avengers 3? Or do you think they save it for 4? I Hawkeye's a big one for me. Cap, I think, is a goner. Loki's another one that's a goner. I didn't talk about him that much in the trailer, but it's very similar to the Comic-Con trailer. He There's a bunch of dead bodies, and he has the Tesseract. I... I, I, I hope that he's using this as like a lever leveraging tool because he got in Thor Ragnarok and they kind of did a kind of a not a full good guy switch but basically he's a good guy now or an anti-hero I want that I don't want too much of the trickery I maybe want to seem like he's being trickery or he could be great as like the inside mole but I want him to be good at the end of the day and I think him being good is going to kill him and you know at the end of the day that I don't want him to go Tom Hiddleston's one of the best parts of the MCU but he is, that would be a perfect end to his arc. And that's what I can say about this trailer. It's it's pretty perfect. It looks like it's going to deliver on the movie we all have in our minds. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. If you like this, please like this video or subscribe. We are, what are we, we're three away from getting our goal of 200 at the end of the year. Yeah, it's a small number, but we're just a group of people in Kelowna, PC. <laughs> so, you know, for us, it's a big number. So we thank you very much for tuning into this. We got a lot of content coming up. We got a lot of content in the past. Our Marvel retrospective star, we're reviewing every MCU movie from Iron Man to Ant-Man because we reviewed the rest already. But it's a great look back. We reviewed Justice League, um, newscasts last week, talking about if DC's getting reviewed. We talked a lot of stuff about comic books in the last week. So if you enjoy this, go check that out. Thank you very much months.